of the things that Bentley and I love doing is going for a little walk. It's something I make myself do every day. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest and tell you that it's not something I love because there are a lot of days, especially when I get home from work, where I am completely exhausted and my body hurts like you wouldn't believe it. Today's one of those days where I'm not feeling particularly good seems like I have about every symptom flaring up today. This walk is actually very uncomfortable. My uh, hip bones feel like they are grinding onto the tops of my leg bones. I've got shooting pains in both legs. My heels are hurting like you wouldn't believe. For those of you with MS, you'll appreciate that. I don't know what that heel burning stuff's all about. but. I'm out here nonetheless doing my thing because if I just sit around inside my house eating Cheetos and Pop-Tarts all day, I'm gonna gain weight and one pound of weight on my body with MS might as well be a hundred because it affects my affects me that bad. So, um, so we're out here walking. I encourage you to do the same. I'm gonna start trying to do more of these videos where we get outside a little bit more and let you see exactly what I do, exactly how I live, so I'm not just sitting and talking about uh, telling you what to do. So it's my opinion that we do a lot of things to ourselves to make life more difficult, and uh, life is difficult enough as it is living with MS. It doesn't help to do nothing. I mean, even if you're you know, limited to a wheelchair or crutches, or a walking device. You can still do some arm lifts. You can definitely watch what you eat. I know that one strikes a sensitive chord with a lot of people, but it is the truth. Uh, I always promised that I would speak the truth. I, I, I did have a conversation with a lady at a support group once that, you know, I understand that MS is tough and that being in a wheelchair and living in a wheelchair, I can't even imagine it. Having secondary progressive for me is tough enough. As you can hear, I'm already kind of huffing and puffing into a you know, five minute walk. However, being in a wheelchair doesn't make you eat really bad food. And that's, that's the truth of the matter. And you are what you eat. So if you're eating a whole bunch of McDonald's and you have MS and you're snacking on Frosties at Wendy's all the time, which I do love, <laughs> uh, it's not gonna help you out. So I know a lot of MSers will talk about fatigue. They'll talk about what it is to, to experience fatigue. I know a lot of folks that may not have a lot of experience with MS might not understand and they think it means that you're tired. Fatigue in MS has nothing to do with being tired. I liken it to dragging around a hundred pound weight on each foot. There are days where I just feel like I can't even lift my foot to do anything and that makes it really rough. That's why a lot of times I'll come home and go, you know, climb right in the bed. But you still gotta get out, folks. You gotta get out and you gotta do something outside. You gotta get out of your house. You gotta do a little bit of exercise, even if it's just walking for, you know, a couple times a day to total 10 minutes. So I'm back out for walk number two of the day. And it brings me to a good point as we're sitting here chit-chatting together, which is, it's easy to talk about what you can't do. It's easy to talk about what you don't have. Well, let me ask you this, what can you do? And I ask that uh, when I speak at MS groups, is everyone wants to talk about what they can't do. I have to walk with a cane. But, you know, when we went to Disney and I had to walk with my cane, that allowed me not to have to be in the wheelchair, which I was very appreciative of. And I know that some folks are stuck in that wheelchair and I, I hate it. But don't think about the limits that that wheelchair places on you. Think about the things that you can do in that wheelchair. You can do some arm raises with you know, maybe a one pound weight. You can do leg raises. You can try to stand up and sit down. And maybe your exercise for the day will be to stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Maybe that's your exercise. So I want you to start thinking about that. Think in terms of what you can do, not in terms of what you can't do. That'll help you uh, 
maybe change your attitude a little bit and start doing a little bit of exercise. One of the things you can do, I'm going to say this again, one of the things you can do is eat better. And we can all do that. And trust me, I love candy. You guys know that. I've said that before. I love sour candy. But think about the things you can do, not, not the limits. So here's my thoughts on those who think about the limits and think about the things that they don't have. I heard Tony Robbins once say that it's not about not, you know, not having a good enough job or not having a good enough education or not having a good enough, you know, not having enough money, excuse me. Those are all resources. The issue most people have isn't with resources. It's in having or being resourceful. Those that have a positive mental outlook, those who think about what they can do, not what they can't do. Those are the people in life that I know, they have, they have better things in life. They have better jobs, they, have, they get the better education, they have more money, they have more happiness, more joy, they have more success. It's more important when you have a disease to be resourceful and it's more important when you have a disease to keep a positive mental outlook. It's more important when you have a disease to fight with everything you have, to eat right, to exercise, to get those things done that you need to get done to give your body the best chance. Or else, you're gonna sit around, you're gonna gain weight, you're not gonna give your body the best chance to fight. The outcome's not gonna be very good for you. And then of course I have folks tell me occasionally via email or some other message through the blog. It's easy to say, it's not always so easy to do. No, it's not easy to do. That's why not a lot of people do it. That's why not a lot of people are able to turn back the symptoms of MS. That's why not a lot of people are able to be CEOs. That's why not a lot of people are incredibly wealthy. It's because being ultra successful at anything, fighting MS, being the best at your job, being a CEO, those things are not easy. They're not easy at all. I don't want to be out here walking this dog. My freaking legs are killing me right now. I'm huffing and puffing because if I don't do it, then I'm giving the MS an edge. So if you like the videos, do me a favor, right down here, click that like button, uh, shoot me a comment, let me know exactly what you think about the videos. Right here, latest videos, right here, website link, right here, subscription button. Hope you folks have a good one.